on it. But first off, I don't have to tell you, he was a two-hand fool. Okay. Okay. But it was a pleasure to work with him. And uh, when I took the job in Newark, and I found out that he was here, and I'm so proud of him because he took everything he learned here from Newark and what he learned in New Orleans, and he's put those things together to make a very successful event. And um, look, any city that <coughs> whose population <coughs> is primarily African American, it is rooted in culture, it is rooted in humanity, and it is rooted in all of us taking care of each other. So it's a pleasure for me to be here. I am learning about Newark, and let me tell you, we all are the same. I told them when I came to Newark, there would be nothing that I would see here that I hadn't seen in New Orleans. And this is a, a wonderful gathering of people, and I'm very happy to be a part of this. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm Junius Williams, I'm chairman of the NC350. You know, NC350 has become a word. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to the NC350 meeting. It's become a part of the culture. We're working very hard to incorporate all of you into the energy that is NC350. And when I come down here and I see this sign, and I didn't realize, Anthony, that it had been that long. Lincoln Park Coast Cultural District. I remember when. I remember when it was just a blip out there in the park. And now, you got everybody in America wondering how you did it. And that's how it's gonna keep on going. It's gonna keep on growing. We're gonna incorporate all of this flavor, all of this flavor that you have here in this room today. You know, I don't even, I, I, I talked to John Johnson about house music, and I said, well, house music, well, you know, I, I'm from another generation where the house music that you played was rhythm and blues, and the house music that you played was a little funky jazz, and then I said, well, I'm going to come down here and see what, this, what they're doing with this house music, and you know, I had my head bobbing and my feet were stomping, because the brother is working it. So that's the way y'all roll, and I'm very happy to be a part of it. We want you to be a part of it, to bring this energy, this young energy, into what we're doing. So thank you very much for having me, and I'm enjoying myself. All right. Good evening, everybody. It's so nice to be here with you this hand. evening. Okay. Oh, I can't tell that this you. is an after work affair because y'all don't look like y'all did much work today. Y'all right? looking pretty good tonight. Uh, definitely want to thank Anthony for all of his hard work as well as his staff and his team uh, for the Lincoln Park group putting all of this together. Uh, first time I met Anthony, we actually had an interesting conversation about house music. And we talked a lot about the early DJs from Newark, Club Zanzibar days, and, and the one thing that he said is that a lot of people take for granted about house music is that it's representative of the diaspora. That you have so much of African culture that permeates the music, but we also see it in Latino culture, we see it in South American culture, we see it from the Caribbean, and of course here in the States. All the, the various musical uh, threads, the, 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 the bloodlines that run through it, blues music, funk, soul, all of that is in the music. And it's so good to hear Newark representing that house sound, to know that we have a distinctive house sound, and, and, and you all are representative of that, so I thank you all for doing that, and, and I want to thank Lincoln Park for pulling everything together, particularly the Music Speaks uh, series, we're looking forward to that, and, and we look forward to seeing everyone here at so many of the events that have been taking place this year. God bless you all. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. So I'm just going to give you just a, a quick overview of what Music Speaks is. We started Music Speaks in the second year of the music festival where Shelton Hayes, who is no longer here with yes, us, but you know, Shelton Hayes and the Club Zazabar, and we did a photo exhibition 
at City, with All, City Without Walls Gallery that had Grace Jones, Patti LaBelle, Eddie Kendricks, all of those people who came through the club here in Newark, New Jersey. And so when uh, we had the opportunity to uh, really uh, be part of the 350th anniversary, we said let's take the Lincoln Park Music Festival into the wards. And so we said let's bring Music Speaks back. And Music Speaks basically is uh, a way of taking a, a festival into the various wards um, and the communities that give back to the festival. Uh, what we're doing is that we're taking, uh, whether it's photography, whether it's uh, literature, whether it's spoken word, all the different forms and genres that we can celebrate, but taking it into the communities and celebrating our communities, such as places like Diamond in the Rough. And I want to thank Diamond and the Ruff for allowing us to have our announcement here. Miss Carter, Peggy uh, Miller, Peggy Miller, Debbie Glenn, yes. and all of those. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I, if Tony's still in the kitchen, Tony, I'm not sure if he's still here, but you know, you know, I'm sure the food was good. <laughs> and you know, all of this, what you don't know, and I just want to just make this uh, statement. All of this was um, the, the progenitors of all of this was started with uh, Councilman Gail Cheney Phil Jenkins and her team early, early on, Mayor Sharp James, and you know, um, our founding board member, the late Amiri Baraka. You know, they, uh, they were all a part of what's really making Lincoln Park and a Lincoln Park Music Festival. Amiri would slam me because he said, you have to celebrate jazz no matter what. So we picked the four genres that we were going to celebrate was jazz, gospel, house, and hip-hop, and partnering with uh, Susu Stewart with Susu Productions and Yo Pack, and Susu has been a supporter from day one, one when we were doing Praise Fest at the Bear Stadium. Wow, that's great. You know, <laughs> 1999. You know, we were doing it then, and you know, brought the youth there because it's about the intergenerational experience, and it's about us you know, uh, Julius talked about house music, and I, I mean, we're gonna have a block party, we're gonna have rock block. Yeah. You know, because we're gonna take it back to the 70s when we had the old block parties. But you know, we really want to just celebrate our culture in all different kinds of ways. So tell us what we're doing. I know we're starting, today is the kickoff. Today is the kickoff. we're going all the way through October, right? Absolutely, so, okay, I gotta remember. That's right, Lincoln Park is going from uh, March through October. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get to give you the highlights of it. I know right, that's it. we're gonna right. do something around um, literature, uh -huh. uh, a, a jazz series, a jazz series in yep. the senior buildings. Yep. We're gonna do um, rock the block, rock your soul. We're gonna do block something party. a block party. We're gonna do the riverfront right. prod with the riverfront, right. uh, showing some film. Right. We're gonna do uh, uh, rock the shot. Yeah, what's, what's rock, the rock the shot. We're going to work with the youth and teach them how to use cameras and take pictures, oh, and then that. photography, and All then right. we're going to work with them to take pictures at the festival and highlight it through open doors in nice. October. Okay. You know, so we have a host of things that we're going to be doing that really celebrate the city of Newark and our culture. And now, now, what about gospel? Oh, and gospel. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? Tell me about gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell us about gospel, Susu. Oh, well, there you go. Susu actually is going to talk about a special program that she's working with. You know, she's been working with the youth with Yo Pack and Susu Productions, and she has combined forces with the legendary Dr. Emily Sissy Houston. To oh, you're talking about that project? That project. Oh, that project, yes. Yeah. So also at the 350 and Lincoln Park Music Festival this year, we are introducing the first Dr. Sissy Houston Academy. Let's give it up for the legendary. So she's going to bring her expertise in what and how she has been uh, in the industry and teaching and working with a lot of celebrities, professional singers. And we also know we have a tag for her, the voice, no, the sound that birthed the voice. And so she is coming to the city of Newark and she's giving lessons for a, uh, youth ages 14 to 25. It's a 12 week program and Yo Pat is sponsoring it, so if anybody knows a youth that needs a scholarship, please mm. see us and we'll definitely make sure that they, if they can sing, now we ain't promise you that she's gonna teach you how to sing like Whitney Houston, 
But we promise you, you will get that same training that she did to Whitney Houston. But we ain't promising you that we're gonna make your child or your youth sick. So we're having auditions uh, March 26th in uh, Ripley Greer, and we're also having auditions right here at home at the Symphony Hall on April 2nd. And those of you who don't know, Dr. Houston is from uh, Newark. She goes to church in Newark. She lives here in Newark, and she's giving back to, to Newark. And she was here earlier to support us, and she knows Anthony, too. I actually, I said, Anthony, you used to sing in her choir? He said, no, no, I didn't sing in the choir. But I saw, but he sat on the front row with her at church. Exactly. You know, so, one thing we're also going to do uh, as part of this program is that, um, Sissy Houston and her family was part of a famous group called the Drinkers. You know, and we're going to celebrate them during a festival weekend. Right. Celebrate the Drinkers and Sweet Inspirations, where she backed up Elvis Presley and, and all mm -hmm. those other folks and stuff. So we're really going to take, we're going to go in. We're going to go in. We're going to go in and really do it how we know how to do it. That's right. Jackie, from the ground up. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's all I have. That's all you have. Anybody have any requests for this year? Any artist requests for this year? No? Vicky? Vicky who? Vicky Wyans. Vicky Wyans. Anybody else? Cece Wyans. Cece Wyans. Cece Peterson. Kim Burrell. Okay. Who else? Okay. Kenny Bowman. Okay. Kenny Bowman is in the house, actually. Where you at, Kenny? Kenny. Our legendary Newark house singer. He supports us. I shall not be moved. He supports us every year. If he's on the bill and us, Kenny definitely supports us. But thank you, thank you, Kim Ford, thank you, Lincoln Park, thank you, Susu Productions, thank you, everybody, for coming out. And uh, DJ, let's give it up for our DJ Ironbound. And DJ Love. DJ Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.